So while I'm busy working away at uh, taking full water up, I think Carol is prepping the bar. Oh, there we go. Prepping the bathroom. Uh, she's lining the walls with paper, which I'll let her explain. Hello. It's my favorite job, this wallpapering. I'm lining the walls. Um, I did a sample patch of paper and realized that the walls after still, after, still after filling them, that they're still quite bad. So I'm gonna have to line them after or before painting. So it's one of my favorite jobs, yay! So uh, last week, or end of last week and this week been a bit of a slow process. Uh, since we've been back to the UK, uh, Zach, our grandson, decided to give us his sort of flu virus, which is really not just for six. Um, so we're just doing light work. So Cal's been in the bathroom, as you can see, prepping the walls after I've got the toilet in, uh, ready for painting. Um, she's also uh, prepped the walls for lining paper, which actually, if I zoom up past her button, she's doing right now. So um, these are sort of easy jobs we can do even if we don't feel brilliant. And hopefully we can get this wall finished. Then what we need to do is bring the bath over because we're not exactly sure where we're gonna put it. You can't put it dead in the middle because to the right hand side there's a doorway and we don't want it to look visually wrong. So we need to place the bath and then I know what to do with the plumbing pipes, etc. You got all right up there, darling. Looking good, but you can't Your really bubbles. you can't really talk with your voice. You know, it's affected Cal more than it's affected me. This uh, um, throat infection. Anyhow, I'll leave it with you. Tia, you come to help. You're the lucky one. You didn't come back to England, so you haven't got the virus. Where are you off to? Mad cat. Another job that we can do um, at the moment, well, we're not in the best of uh, uh, bodies, is all these doors have these gorgeous locks on them, uh, as you can see, but they, every single one has been painted with about five layers of paint, uh, which is horrible. So even the locks sometimes don't come out. So I've been taking them off. Um, here's one. Actually, I've started. You see that amazing mechanism, because you know how old they are. Um, and I've just basically sanded them back wire wool, cleaned them up. They've all got these gorgeous brass plates for covering the keyholes and their own emblem on the uh, underneath. So once they're all cleaned up, Carol then can decide to paint them to match uh, the room. Uh, leaving the brass bits, or even leaving au naturel. So um, that one will then go back on the doors and we'll carry on working our way through. Um, I think just little touches like that make such a difference. I, I can give you an update of the um, main family bathroom. As you can see, Adrian's not allowed in here because he doesn't know what wet paint is. So we have the bath there in position. It's not quite in the centre because otherwise we won't be able to open the door. As you can see, I've finished lining all the walls. I've filled all the joints so they're absolutely perfect. This back wall here will have a feature wallpaper on it. It's on order so I need to collect it next week. We will have, because there's not enough space for a separate shower in this bathroom, we're going to have the shower over the bath with some nice curtains on a rail. It will look elegant, not cheap and nasty, I hope. I've had this paint mixed for the panels. And the walls that I don't wallpaper will be a paler shade. Radiator's back in place and the next job will be to do the window frame. We won't be doing the actual windows themselves until they've been replaced or refurbished. And after buying three sinks, we decided to go for this one. I bought this cabinet from Facebook and repainted it the right colour to match the doors. 
Not a very practical sink, but we've tried a square one, a round one, uh, and that's the one we decided to go for. Now the other dilemma in here that I'm faced with is the floor. This bathroom is supposed to be fitted next week. I'm not sure that's going to happen now because we have to face the floor before all the utilities go in. So we'd like your advice. What should we put on the floor? Obviously we've got all this oak panelling floor throughout the whole of the chateau. It might not be suitable in here with the water. So ideas please. The wallpaper will be a floral design with a tone of green and beige in it. So maybe our comments could be about what to put on the floor in the family bathroom. Nothing outrageous please. As you can see the light comes through beautifully from this side vestibule which leads into one of the bedrooms. I do try and read all your comments, although sometimes we don't find the time to reply to all of them. But we do our best. Look forward to receiving them. Thank you. Today, Adrian's going to start the electrics for our one suite. This used to be uh, another walk-in wardrobe. It's quite a large space. And through to here where we'll have a shower, just like Bethany's. Got a nice skylight giving us some light. I've already done the ceiling in here and prepared some of the walls. I had to take some of the flooring out, ready for the drop for the waste. But today, Adrian's going to concentrate on electrics. We bought this Empire light from a Brocant. It's about 65 euros, so not too bad. But the electrics there are just temporary. And then I'll show you in our messy bedroom. It's not everyone's taste. This would be our wash basin. It's got a marble top, and I bought these wall lights also from a Brocant for 60 euros. And the mirror you can see behind. So hopefully it will all come together nicely. So I'm busy now uh, doing the ensuite in our master bedroom. Cal wants to get this one finished, so I'm sort of on a hold at the moment. Um, just literally put the lighting up and then had to work our way through from the ceiling, uh, through the floorboards upstairs, bring it down, light switches, etc. None of this we have. At least now, touch wood. <laughs> but Carol's now decided she wants me to put up some wall lights. So I'm just in the process of uh, linking those out to the ultra one light switch. Then I can get into this room and with the cat again, that's decided to come and help me. I'm not quite sure if she's advising or what. And I still have approval. So, um, you need to put the shower tray down in there, so I need to get that leveled up and uh, plumbing at the back underneath. So um, that'll be a next job, but I think that's going to be latter part of next week. And then again, I need to uh, above put another light in here um, down to a switch. Probably bring it down to, to the side here. There's no point having all the lights on just if we're coming in to use the sink. Uh, and then the nightmare job is getting all of this waste water from this position, which is exactly in the middle of the chateau. So this room here is right in the middle, but I need to get the wastage over, if I pan around, to a sink here. Then the toilet 
will sit there and all of that then needs to go right over to Beth's room, uh, bedroom, where the waste is in the far corner, which you've seen in other videos. Now, biggest problem I've got is I can't get the drop from this point over there. Uh, no matter what I do, it's impossible. So we've had to put in, or we're gonna put in a, a electric on the sunny flow, so it mulches it up, and then I can send it down a 50 mil pipe. Uh, next biggest problem is all the joists are running in the same direction as you can see the parquet floor in is. So I'm gonna have to actually go through every single joist, which from here, if I come through, will be all the way along behind this door. Again, all the way along here. I've started lifting the flooring up here, which so uh, I got an idea of the drop and it should be fine. Um, cobbles there just stop our suicide cat getting underneath the jaw floor and then making her way along. Uh, that then will come out into the temporary kitchen downstairs. And then from there I can come across, which I will pop downstairs just to show you. So you can see the distance, it's impossible to use a hundred mil pipe. So downstairs in the temporary kitchen and this corner here, which I'll zoom into there, uh, it's about 75 centimeters or 30 inches thick of granite. So drill through there. So we've got complete access from where I just showed you uh, up in our bedroom. And then I can bring the 50 mil pipe across to meet where well, I'd already put one in place ready. And then of course that will drop down into the main soil pipe. But as I said, that's gonna be a job, a couple of weeks so I can get that finished. Um, hopefully by then I'll be feeling better. <laughs> Are you there yet? Oh my god. That gives you an idea. This granite is so hard. It really is. But I'm there. Yes, I'm at the other end. Can you see light? Can you see Clive at the other end? I can't see Clive at all. I can hear him whistling. But the good thing is we've hit the wooden joist. We've just got to make a bigger hole and then we can sink a 50 mil through the joist to join onto this pipe over there. But this is definitely Armageddon. Love the goggles. Yes. Thankfully, it's not messy work. <laughs> it's the in the state of your face. As really? Zach would say, look at the state of you. The reason I'm wearing a hard hat is because you catch, you catch a bit of granite solid and the drill might spin up and I don't want that whacking me in the head. So I'm playing safe. Uh, as I've said before, I've got to get the pipe all the way from the ensuite across to here. So um, I've been digging away in here trying to get through. So this 700 mil thick granite. Um, but uh, where there's a will, there's a way. Um, I will come up below where I've been working all day. So basically what we're dealing with is that. Solid concrete through. And that plug, if Armageddon can do it, I'll just put a torch in there. That drill bit that you're looking at there's a metre long actually. So actually it's longer than I thought, uh, the depth I mean. But if you can just see where I'm putting the drill bit to the end there. Excuse the camera a bit. That is what I've been after. There. And uh, that goes right through to the other side into our master bedroom. Pull it out again. And then from there, I'll run that. And you might be able to see we started drilling through 
So that will carry on all the way up to the ensuite, which I'll go up and show you now. So all this work we're doing in the bedroom, from the kitchen up across into the bedroom floor. All the parquets had to come up. All this work is just to put a toilet and a shower into the ensuite. I hope it's worth it. They've broken quite a few tools this morning. And I've just heard them say, oh, problem, I've broken the drill. So let's just hope that there is another one at hand. Otherwise I'll be jumping over this in the middle of the night to get to the corridor to the other toilet. Right, so here back in the master bedroom, um, and this is the corner that I had to come through. And uh, you can see that meter long drill bit that I was showing you, which has now come through. And we've drilled uh, 55 mil holes. So we've got a little bit of tolerance being the 50 mil pipe that carries on. And um, I'll spin around, but I'll make it too dizzy. You can see as we go up, it carries on all the way. Two smaller pipes to the side there for the uh, water feed. So we've got the hot and cold uh, coming from the uh, best room. Might as well use her tank because it's 150 litres. And although she probably uses 140 of it every time she has a shower, that leaves Carol and I with 10, which is plenty. So, uh, carries on all the way. Uh, the 50 mil and the feeds. Thankfully, if I'll just go back a bit, we didn't have to lift this part of the floor, which I really didn't want to move. The other ones, that you'll see that I've removed here, I'll scroll out a bit, literally were just uh, across, and I can slot them back in to the tongue and groove. There. What I had to do, I had to slide them along and I had to make myself a little access point, which I did there, so I could slide them all the way along carefully. Then I could pop one up and then they all follow, but it did take a while to do that as well. So I'll carry on around and then we bring it into the ensuite. Or will be, we'll remove it. Then she got around to sorting it. And then, uh, as I pointed, like I said in previous ones, then we then can take the waste across to the shower, uh, being there. But thankfully, the joists go the right way, and also joists go the right way to take it across to the toilet. Clive and I got the uh, waste in uh, yesterday. Um, so we had to get that exactly. I can try and show you slowly, maybe a bit more daylight. So slowly the waste, as you can see, we've had to drill through the joist, pretty much exactly the same as the 50 mil. So we've gone 54 mil and then we've got a little bit of tolerance. And if I slowly scroll through, you can see this is slowly going up through the master bedroom. So from the temporary kitchen through the master bedroom and slowly up into the ensuite. Um, all that's in place, ready to go, ready to bring across to the shower and the toilet. Uh, Carol and I are now just sorting out, putting the piping through for the hot and cold supply. So you can see the uh, hot pipes already through now, uh, ready then to be um, attached to Beth's ensuite uh, plumbing. We use her uh, tank, uh, as I said previous. A um, bit long-winded this, so when you buy this pipe um, from your local depot, it comes as you can see, you've got the plumbing pipe and then you have the insulation uh, that comes with it. But because we wanted to keep the holes to an absolute minimum in the joist, we don't want enormous holes, it was just taking away the strength. So we've had to pull all the piping out of the conduit, as you can see. And then slowly, uh, I'll just be feeding this through. So. Start feeding it through as I will show you here. And then we're having to cut between this joist, the conduit, and then we'll do the same again. So we'll cut a, another piece that goes between 
the pipe or feed that through. And we have to do this all the way along. Um, but at least that way, as I said, we're not drilling enormous holes to compensate for a conduit, which is, I don't know, I think it's towards 25 mil maybe, uh, maybe 20. Whereas the pipe's only 16, so we only need to draw a hole large enough for that. Uh, hopefully we'll get that done today. Uh, and then we can have a bit of a rest this afternoon. So that's what my parents have been up to this week at the Chateau. As they said, it's been quite a slow week because they've been quite ill, which is why we didn't have a video on Wednesday, as unfortunately there just wasn't enough content because they've been too ill to really do much. As my mum said, please leave us a comment about the bathroom flooring, we'd love to know your opinions. And as she also said, we do read every single comment, we just don't always get enough time to reply to all of them, but we definitely read them so we do really appreciate you giving them to us. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see you next week.